This is according to the Tribunist. Okay, so we're getting into one of the funny stories for, well, the the ending is funny, basically. Uh, I talked about how two women were uh, assaulted and were either tried, they tried to burglar them or take things from them or attack them. And both women turned out okay for two different reasons. And the first one here is a man chases a woman into a karate dojo and it goes exactly how you would expect so it says with a bit of character development this story could be make an excellent pitch for a movie a kidnapper tries to force a woman into his car she fights back and escapes she needs help so runs into a nearby karate studio and the kidnapper refusing to give up follows her in and that's when all hell breaks loose can you imagine this guy's an idiot the incident occurred in charlotte north carolina and after it was over the kidnapper was carried out of the dojo to the ambulance. It seems that the woman ran into the dojo pleading for help and that the school's head instructor was took on, uh, actually took on the kidnapper himself. The attempted kidnapping happened around 9 o'clock p.m. on Thursday, last Thursday, outside of Bushikin Karate Charlotte Dojo. There were still some kids in the dojo being picked up by parents and a couple of adult uh, students cleaning up when a young lady came through our doors and stated that someone was trying to harm her, according to Randall F. from the head instructor. Shortly afterward, a big male entered the building, not knowing what he wanted. I assumed he was inquiring about classes. I asked how I could assist him, and he stated that he was there for the lady. She insisted that she did not know him and tried to ki- he, that he tried to kidnap her. Uh, Ephraim tried diplomacy and asked the man to leave. <clears throat> the man later identified as 47-year-old August Williams would not, and Ephraim was between him and the woman. The situation immediately escalated. He then tried to force himself further into the dojo, aggressively pushing and swinging. I then went into action, defending myself, and got him out of the dojo. Once outside, he attempted to attack again and was dealt with accordingly. And uh, yeah, there's a picture here of him being pushed out on a street stretcher so it apparently did not go too well for him <laughs> he was uh he was a little bloodied and his mug shot looks like he has some uh cuts maybe even some stitches on that forehead as well so that's incident number one that happened to a woman this one might be even funnier This is according to the Daily Wire says, here's a viral photo of the bloodied man that female UFC fighter allegedly beat up for attempted robbery. Uh, You see, you mess with the wrong women sometimes. It doesn't matter. A female ultimate fighting championship fighter allegedly beat a would-be robber on Saturday after the man threatened her and tried to steal her phone in Rio de Janeiro. Uh, 26-year-old UFC fighter Pollyanna Viana told MMA Junkie on Sunday that she was approached by a man while she was waiting for an Uber driver. After asking her for the time, he demanded that he give her her cell phone and told her that he was armed. Making a split-second decision, Viana uh, decided the gun he claimed to have was likely too soft to be an actual gun and deployed two punches and a kick to the man and as he fell to the ground she caught him in a headlock she recalled the fighter said she held him until the cops arrived so this is according to her she said when he saw i saw him he sat next to me he asked me the time i said it and i saw he wasn't going to leave so i already moved to put my cell phone in my waist and then he said give me the phone don't try to react because i'm armed then he put his hand over a gun but i realized it was too soft he was really close to me so i thought if it's a gun he won't have time to draw it so i stood up i threw two punches and a kick he fell and then i caught him in a rear naked choke then i sat him down in the same place we were before and said now we'll wait for the police (laughs) so that just goes to show you number one we have this moron who walked into a karate dojo and (laughs) tried to follow this woman in there and not only did he get inside and follow her and see that there were still people in there including the instructor kids that knew karate that probably could have kicked his ass as well but then also adult students and the guy still tries to kidnap this woman and throw her into the car he gets his ass handed to him right then we go to rio de janeiro where a female ufc fighter is sitting there and a guy tries to rob her he just picked the wrong woman 
Which goes to show you, maybe if you have good moral character and standing in society and you don't try to pull this kind of crap, you don't get your ass handed to you in any type of fight, whether it's from a female that you didn't know was actually going to kick your ass anyway, or a karate uh, instructor and running into definitely the wrong place with that incident. How could the both of these incidences have been prevented? Like I said, you just don't do stupid illegal crap and follow through with it. But if you're not a female UFC fighter, and if you don't happen to be standing next to a karate dojo at the time, the other great equalizer for women to survive such attacks is to be armed themselves. Go out and get a carry permit and actually pull out a gun and shoot someone that's trying to throw you into a car. Because who knows how these stories could have ended up. Uh, this, Both these women, had they not been in the circumstances that they were in, could have been thrown into a car and anything could have happened. They could have been ultimately killed. We have a growing problem of sex slavery, not only here in the United States, which is surprising if you actually look at the numbers of how many kids and females are sold into sex slavery, but certainly all over the world this is going on, which is why, again, I haven't brought this up for a while. If you are interested in donating to any really good charity causes, look into Operation Underground Railroad. You could look into um, Ashton Kutcher's uh, sex slavery charity foundation where they go and, and try to pay to rescue people as well. But uh, if you sign up for OUR or follow along with their social media stuff, you can actually see uh, the updates all the time on how many kids, how many females are saving, how many people they arrest and put away. It's just really fantastic and I would encourage you to do that.